into a uh, tutorial that will be um, recoloring. So in the tutorial I'll be showing two ways to recolor. There's, uh, the first one would be using hue and saturation and the second would be using a pattern or an image or fabric or something that you um, may have found online. So we're going to go in and create cast standalone and we're going to recolor, well actually I want to recolor um, some pants. Now, uh, I'm, the pants I, I'm choosing I um, actually did as I was making another video but it didn't um, decided not to use that video so I know that the pants will come out looking nice so that's, that's, that's a good thing. So now when, um, re when recoloring items if you're going to be using a uh, hue and saturation, then the color choices that you choose, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't say go for black because you can't, um, you can't change the hue of black. Um, but, you know, unless you do some extra work. But if you're using hue and saturation, you can go with a green and change it to blue. You know, you can, you can do some different things. So, I'll go ahead and take this green. And if you're working with patterns or um, fabrics and stuff, I would say go with a item that has a very light swatch, like these white pants. I wouldn't again. I wouldn't go for black. I wouldn't go for the blue denim denims because that's gonna mute your um, pattern once you change your blending mode. So um, we have these two. We'll go with the green here and the white. So I'm just going to call them tutorial bottoms. And I'm going to zoom out here. That's okay, we'll leave it like that. So we're going to export the white one. I'm just going to do it like that. And the green ones. I'm going to open them both up here. Now I'm going to get the, the pattern that I wanted to use, which was this. I do like the weird patterns. <laughs> um, so uh, this one I just found online. So I'll go in and show you know what, what I search for. Usually um, a lot of my collections are or, um, Ankara or wax print. So I say like, I'll just search like that. And then I can get all... all um, a variety of fabrics images I click an image you know and, and use this image on my um, in my recolor and a lot of times you want to try and get images that are big sometimes it's not you know we're not lucky enough to get really big images because when you get a really big one you can f cover a, um, a broader space when you have a smaller one then you have to start going in and um, pasting this one then flipping it horizontally and pasting it next to it then flipping it horizontally again and pasting it next to it flipping vertically and pasting so that you can get the symmetry so you know you if you can try and find ones that are that are big so let's move back we're going to use this one it's pretty big so what i'm going to do is control a to select control c to copy but what i i moved ahead of myself so we're just going to continue with this um, this one, but I'm going to get the white, the white bottoms. So what I'm going to do is add a new layer, control V. I'm going to keep can size so we know that this, this picture is pretty large. I'm just going to scale it down and see how, how, um, it covers the whole, whole, um, space of the pants. So that's good. So that's, that's what we need. So from here, we're going to just lower the opacity just a little bit so we know where the pants are underneath. We're going to go back to background and we're going to use the magic wand. And what this does is selects. So what I did there, I'm going to go back. Depending on where you um, use the magic wand, like if you press it in a, an area that has a shadow maybe, you know, you'll get this. Or, but the way you can fix that is just to increase the tolerance, so that you can cover the whole area of the 
the pants. So right now we've selected the pants. We're going to go back into layer 2 and we're going to control C to copy. So what we're doing is copying the pattern into the shape of the pants. So we're going to make another layer and we're going to control V, paste it, and then control D, deselect. So now we have those pants and we have the layer, the pattern layer, and we have the, the base layer. So we're just going to remove layer two that holds our pattern because it's no longer needed. So now I just have those two layers. So, I mean, <laughs> looking at this, you're like, well, that looks like a sticker. It doesn't, I mean, I don't wear the shape of the pants. So in order to, to allow the creases of the pants, the shape of the pants, or whatever item you're recoloring to shine through, you want to go into your layer properties and change the blending mode. I use multiply. So it kind of makes that pattern, um, how can I say, it's as if it's, um, it's making the pattern see through for one, but it's like it's pasting the pattern onto, onto your item. So it's not just sitting on there, it's as if it came with the item. So we're going to press OK. We're going to merge, control, shift, F, control, S to save. If you want to take a moment to to view this window, I don't change anything here. I, once I come here, I just immediately press OK. So now we're going to move back in to, um, we're going to paste on the white one. Get it import. And we're going to choose those pants and there you have it Let's see if I can get a little bit closer see so you you have I'm just getting all up in her butt <laughs> but you have um, you still see the creases of the pants you see you still have the shape of the pants and everything I'm on laptop so excuse me when I try and get in the right place here but you see you see the the pants the zip the button all of that is still in you know the, the um, hem still there so everything using multiply is what really um, lets the, the uh, under the item underneath shine through but your recolor looks good it looks like it belongs with those pants so we're going to move on to the green one and the green one is just I'm just going to show a um, recoloring if you just want to change the color or something so here what I normally use is hue and saturation that's really honestly that's all I use actually let's let me move back into these pants and show you here just quickly what hue and saturation can do look at that so I mean you can get Let's say you want to have this pattern, but a different color. So you can get a lot of different color ranges. Saturation is going to make it, like, saturated, of course. But, you know, so even that, can I see what it looks like? Let's, let's see how crazy that looks. Look at that. So, I mean, you can get some, some pretty cool things. So let's go back into this, the green one. So, again, we're just going to human saturation. I'm going to lower the saturation here, though. I don't want it like that. But look, I can change it now. Maybe I want to make some pastels. So, let's see if I can do that. Then I'll lower the saturation a little bit here. So, let's see. We're just going to save it because we don't have any extra layers, so we're saving here, and then we're going to bring that in. So we would just change it to a different color. So um, from there, let me put this one back to the way I had it originally. Save it. Okay, so now... When doing the swatch, the uh, the colors, you can go in, of course, and choose like this, or you can right click and get an eyedropper, and then choose your colors using the eyedropper, so you get a more accurate um, pull. Let's 
portrayal of um, your item. I'm gonna go ahead and move in game. We're gonna enter cast. Very good pants. And let's find the ones that we made. Here. Let's see. And then the other ones that we made. So that's a very um, basic tutorial on recoloring and two different ways to recolor. So I hope um, that this was helpful to you. I hope that you know using this you can you can uh, create some really great and wonderful things, and that this serves as a um, you know foundation or a base for you to um, learn or a starting process for you to start creating. So. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.